Hey there everyone, this is Dabidi, and last time you may have remembered the glitched game, so to say. I don't know exactly what was wrong, but it seems to have fixed itself for the most part. Um, I guess let's get into playing the actual level this time, for real. Um. Okay, um. It seems to be not spazzing out and whatnot. Uh, I guess congratulations. Um, now that I can get, actually get onto the actual gameplay and the judging and whatever else is and whatnot, I will say that this is actually a weird level. Not in a bad, a bad sense, but the fact how it's castle mixed with cave mixed with the net tile set. It's pretty nifty and cool. Uh, okay, this is something that I wish you could do, is skip the text. Hey, I'm back. Like the little tuft of grass right there, nice purple background and whatnot. Uh, prom plants and dry bones. I like the, uh, violet t type of palette. Okay, I'm back here again. You wanna know something I noticed about almost every single ROM hack made? Is that... If there's a castle or... If there's a castle level or castle type level, it's almost guaranteed to have spikes. And if it's a castle like level like this, that's not fully a castle or but cave, I don't know what you'd call that, there's muncher plants. I just thought I'd share that for no particular reason. Hopefully World 3 isn't so damning as World 2 was, or just a couple levels of World 2. Which, if you've seen my last videos, you know what 2 they are. Holy crap. Um, I don't think you- can you slide into the dry bones? I don't know if you can or not. I'm not gonna risk it. And I'm just like, going all over the place. Um... Oh, come on. I think something that'd be pretty, you know, nifty is if you had, if you could press the start button and it would skip the text, sort of like with SNWCP. Okay, admittedly, Polar Paradise might give me some trouble. I don't remember where the heck I was at, unfortunately. I just remember dying, unfortunately. Was it... here? Not sure. There's a bunch of Koopas climbing on the net. Yeah, there we go. I died by that bastard that I just killed. So, alright, new content. Here we go. We, we got him. I hope I run to a midway point soon, because apparently I... I suck. Okay, I made it back here. Finally. Listen to, at least I had some good music to go with me dying over and over again, but... So I'm back over here, and I noticed there's a bunch of turtles climbing on nets, as well as a bunch of muncher plants. The level mainly just consists of munchers and blimps for the most part. Some of the decorations include bones in the ceiling and on the ground, as well as fluffs of grass. And it looks like we're going to be doing a muncher run now. I'm getting really look, I'm going to look forward to failing over and over and over and over and over again at this. Really, I am. Get it. Get it. Jesus. Okay, come on. I'm, like, panicking already. I'm about to have a damn heart attack. Hey, uh, life farming. This basically won me back on my lives. And I got the mid- uh, secret exit. Cool, that is freaking kick-ass. So this unlocked the lava route. So now I'm gonna go unlock, or do the normal exit to get to the ice path. And then, maybe in the next video I'll choose which path, whatever, every which way, but, uh, oh, come on. Oh, my God. All right, we're back at that one crossroads area again, where you have the option of going to the no more of the secret exit. I just hope I don't die by these turtles. Or the thwimps, jeez. Wait a minute. Please be there at midway point off the port bow. Not immediately off the port bow. Holy crap. Oh. Wait, I'm about to 
destroy my damn- Um, if anyone wants to know why I'm not, like, fast-forwarding through this part, it's because it takes away how you would really feel if you was playing it on an any SNES console. I mean, you can't really judge on speed and, among other things, and bearableness and tolerance and all the other stuff if you fast-forward the redundant parts. See what I'm saying? Okay, I'm back here again, and I'm about to throw my keyboard through my damn window. Freaking insanity. Uh, okay, okay, so like, like, now, seriously, why, why can't I do this? I just keep dying on the same freaking parts, basically. I mean, and it's, it just gets so bland, seeing the same screen over and over and over again. You have bones in the ceiling, bones on the floor, munchers, the torpedo, the torpedo Ted boxes, and dry bones, ropes... I don't know, I've like, I've known this stage by heart now, but I just, I just still can't do it. I don't know what I'm doing wrong, I'm just obviously doing something wrong. It just goes on and on and on as well. It's, like, I think, once again, there's just one single power-up, and it's like, I don't know, you get hit by, insert enemy here, you know, I, there's ice physics, it's a, there's very small platforms to go through. There's Koopas, just crowding the nets. See. Then I get over here, and then I, I, I just die. I don't, I don't even know. <sighs> well, I made it this time. What do you want me to do here? Okay. Well, at least there's somewhat different scenery now, finally. Ah, uh, I don't know what to say at the moment. I'm just so frustrated. Now, what am I supposed to do here? Oh, you know it'd be nice? A midway point? Like, come on, every single time. I'm, I'm down to two lives, I think. And I'm getting sick of seeing those two just be... Mario, Mar Mario needs to move his fat... Life farming time. Getting ridiculous. Okay, I'm serious. I, I can't continue no more. My hands are shaking. I'm about to just lose my mind. I'm going, I'll resume this, I don't know, tomorrow or something. I gotta take a break. I'll see you guys later.